Farmers and workers are seriously injured or killed every year while working on or inside silos. The three biggest reasons are falls from heights, being overcome by oxygen depleting fumes or dust in confined spaces and getting dragged into augers. If you work around farm silos, keep your people safe. Workers being overcome by fumes or dust from grains while working inside confined spaces has tragically led to a number of deaths since 2014. In one incident, two rescuers entered a silo in an attempted rescue and also lost their lives. Part two of our silo safety series looks at how to work safely in confined spaces. You should only enter confined space if you have made sure there is enough oxygen present and no risk of an explosion or being engulfed. Consider all other ways the job can be done without entering the confined space. If you must enter, understand the risks in the space you are entering, both before and during the work being performed. Make sure confined spaces are identified and have signs on any access points to warn people against entering. All access points, such as doors and hatches, should be locked to prevent access. Discuss with all workers and agree on how the work will be completed before anyone enters the confined space. Only workers who have completed confined space training have the right equipment and have a permit should enter that space. Discuss and agree on the emergency procedures before work starts. Develop a rescue plan for each confined space. You must always have a trained safety person located outside the silo who can communicate with workers in the confined space. Monitor the air inside the confined space with a calibrated gas detector to make sure there is enough oxygen and no carbon monoxide before entering and continue monitoring while work is being completed. Wherever you can, eliminate the possibility of being engulfed by product. If possible, move any product to another silo or truck during the work and try to avoid stepping on the product and always use a harness and lanyard secured to the outside of the silo. Never enter a confined space to rescue someone unless you have been trained and have the correct equipment. In a confined space, oxygen levels can be easily affected by other gases which can cause serious risks. For example, fumigation chemicals, inert gases or carbon monoxide from a combustion engine may reduce the level of oxygen in the confined space. If an ignition source such as a sparking electric tool or static electricity from a person or their clothing is introduced into a space containing a flammable or explosive atmosphere, a fire or explosion is likely. Remove all organic dust from the confined space before entering to reduce the risk of fire. Understand it is possible to be engulfed while working inside the confined space. As mentioned, the risk of being engulfed should be eliminated wherever possible by working in the silo by removing product, not stepping on the product, using a harness and lanyard secured to the outside of the silo. If you do become trapped, avoid movement, remain calm and call for help. Make sure all air monitoring equipment, breathing apparatus and ventilation equipment is regularly inspected and is working properly. Make sure a competent person checks any lifelines, winches or harnesses in use and that they are in good working order. Train your workers in how to recognise and understand the risks of working inside confined spaces. Create a register of confined spaces on your farm and issue permits to those people who have been trained in how to work safely in those areas. Never let anyone else work in those spaces. Make sure everyone is trained in the emergency procedures in case something goes wrong. Always have someone else who is trained outside the silo to assist and get help if required. Confined spaces are dangerous. Protect your workers. Be silo safe.